Hello everybody. Hope you're all doing well. I'm out here uh, on uh, Gary's Coop. And you guys seen prior videos I've done about this car. And uh, I showed the wheels where we couldn't get the uh, lugs off due to them being down inside of the wheel there where you couldn't get a lug wrench or a socket in there to get them off. So uh, we corrected that problem. I got them loose and now Gary can put his wheels on there. So I just want to show how a little bit of uh, a little bit of difference is putting wheels on a vehicle. This is at this side with the stock GT wheels. And um, on this side, I put one of the tires on the front. So the car has a whole different look to it. And it has the uh, what we used to call the eggy wheels on the back. So uh, the good news is, Gary, you can put your new wheels on. But the bad news is, is that whoever put these lugs on also cross-threaded your lugs. So, we're debating on putting axles in this car because you want to upgrade the axles and studs when you go with a stick shift car, especially when you're using slicks. And that's what's on these Aggie wheels. Mickey Thompson drag slicks. But now he has a reason to do that unless he just wanted to pound them studs out and put new studs on stock axles, which would be a mistake because stock axles are only going to last so long and one thing if you try to keep out and use stock axles and then you break a stud or the axle comes out from a c-clip problem it usually kinks the quarter panel or does something to mess that up uh, in most cases once in a while you'll get lucky and you'll break an axle, that won't happen, but uh, in most cases you usually kink the quarter panel. So, I thought I'd show you this, and uh, we're going to be doing some more segments on this car, because uh, I'm enthused about this vehicle right here. I've liked it since it came home here on the trailer, and I'd like to have had it myself, but we have enough going on here, and I hope... Gary makes the most out of this car. Uh, I see a lot of enthusiasm, but uh, also a lot of uh, bends in the road. Uh, like anything, when you're building something. So, keep in mind guys, when you do take on a project like this, it's not just all fun. So, a uh, few problems getting uh, the clutch assembly out of the other vehicle. And uh, that wasn't fun for him. And when you're doing these cars here, you get used to certain things. And one guy has done mechanic work with these vehicles, you can make good time. Somebody that's never done uh, any kind of mechanic work, then it's a little bit rougher for him when you have to figure things out. When, you, when you've already done it, then it's a lot easier. So uh, keep that in mind. So. I see people, they think, hey, I'm going to take on a Fox Body Project. They are the, probably the easiest car you could deal with, but you're still dealing with mechanics, and you still have to have an ability to be able to work on uh, things because, uh, well, they just don't put their stuff together, guys, as we all know. I wish they did because uh, I'd have a lot more running here if that was the case. But uh, anyway... I guess I want to keep you guys up to date on this, and we're going, going to be moving on into some uh, body work on this. I also told Gary I'll help him with that, and we're picking out a color for it, and uh, that's kind of up in the air right now. And then we're going to have some uh, debate if we should put a new trunk deck on this, or just doctor this one up. He just wants the big one to look decent for right now. And uh, if we can make it look respectable, that's always after. He's not 
going to car shows. It's just uh, something to have a little fun with. So, uh, yeah, it's getting there already. So, um, like I said, we'll be doing more on this. And uh, I hope it runs where we want it to. I'm thinking if uh, everything goes according to plan, this car will go in the tens with basically, well, ported heads and whatever cam and intake we choose. And well, the rest of it would be a stock bottom end with uh, basically a stock T5 and whatever gears on it. So it's going to be low budget. So anyway, guys, thought I'd give you another peek at this, and uh, we'll see how much we get done with this. And um, hopefully, I'd love to be able to put this on YouTube for you guys to see this run down the track. That's what my plan is, so we'll see if it goes uh, the way that I think. But um, give you another quick look. You know, here's another thing I thought of, guys. I've seen vehicles like this here. People look at them and they'll think, that car needs too much. And then after it's finished, or has paint or wheels on it, they'll be like, well, I should have bought that. We've had that said to us many times about our own vehicles, where nobody wanted the car at all. And then we get done with it, and then people want the car. Especially when it's a proven car, if you're looking for racing vehicles and the car turns a number, then that's another thing that people always seem like they get caught up on. If something's already together and running. That's okay, because some people don't want to work on things, and I don't blame them. But it takes time and money. Sometimes you can buy something already done that's uh, better for that person. But uh, it's one of them deals however you want to look at it anyway have a good day everybody and uh keep you up to date on this god bless you